All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Bandito, and we're back with L.A. Noir. We're picking up right where we left off, directly after House Made of Sticks or whatever, I think. And uh, we're on the... Moving on. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Wells. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. Once you get over there and hurry them along. Ho, oh, boom. Weapons company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flame yeah, we do. and VAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them We in are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Uh-oh. Mount up. First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Fucking flamethrower instantly getting popped. Yup. Where's he going? Where's who going? Nice. Cowboy, he's going in. Who gave that order? You did. I mean, that's pretty fair. I did. I did give him that order. Okay, so we got a polite invitation. But yeah, we are starting to put a case together against Elysian... Elysian, whatever the fuck. I can't remember the other word. But yeah, we're starting to put a case together against them using... Her, uh, settlement. The shitty houses they've been building and all the fires. Oh, Miss Lichtman. And it's all of a, all the way for us to get our credibility back as a uh, as a cop. We are like actively actively. What the fuck? What a weirdo! Exactly caught me at my best. You look lovely, princess. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Yep. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. All of my battles? She's fighting one. Apologize for and it's opening a fucking door. Right about Elysian Fields. Fuck you. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for RKO, Vona Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. Got it. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. Alright, this That's fucking perfectly guy. Understandable, this fucking guy. Jack, I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. But, like... Cole. What about Cole? I hope so too, princess. You better fucking stop with that. I'd like that. You better fucking stop with that, bro. Princess. Oh my god, princess. You Kelso? Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelsey. Wise Can guy, eh? Which version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about. There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First, they send you over a drink. Then they buy you dinner. Then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Uh oh. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. 
Uh-oh. Leland Monroe. Leland! Oh, developer? You think I fell down the stairs? Leland, baby. It's all coming together. The case is being built. Pay Curtis Benson a visit. Am I playing as Jack? Thanks for the patch up, Princess. Might be the only R and R I get for some time. That's crazy. Crazy thing to say. Go outside, hop in our car. We got places to be, baby. We got a case to build. Can't take too much time now. I don't like the fact that we get trips to get now. I think I might have reset the settings back to like default because it kept crashing. I think it's asking me if I want a trip skip. And I don't. The fuck are you doing? Can you not see a guy speeding through a red light in front of you? We're gonna fucking turn right in front of him like a fucking idiot. You deserve to get hit. Stupid bitch. You fucking stupid, ugly bitch. Oh, great. That's such a great line. If anyone's seen American Psycho, great fucking line. All because they don't accept cards. That's crazy. Oh, I fucked up. Later. Control your car. Oh, we did. Curtis Benson's apartment, 9.52 a.m. All right, let's go deal with Curdy. Little Kurt. Our man, Kurt. Uh-oh. Um, he should be up, right? Yeah, he'll be this way. There it is. That's the apartment I'm looking for. Tell by the gold door handle. Remember me? Uh-oh. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Uh-oh. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. Oh, there's a call for that, buddy. Right now. I'll tell you that. You try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give uh -oh. it up, or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. Hey, yo. You're fired. Me, Who fired. Do you, think you are? You. Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Damn! Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Not the pistol whip. Damn. Got his ass. Alright, we're gonna look around 100%. Watermelon. Oh, he's got two. He's got a woman here. Ooh. Fun. Good for you, bud. Happy for you. Is there a woman in the woman in the room? Whoa. Can't go in that room back there. Go out on the balcony though. Suburban development fund. Like you expect to find, Jack. Look at that share certificates, bitch. He's got four thousand dollars worth of shares. Damn. Fucking bomb. California fire and life. Uh, oh my god. I knew you were in bed with the lesion, Curtis. 11.05 per now year. Wow. 221,000. Oh my god. Get out while you can. I'll fucking, I'll, I'll make sure you get out. Like your brain. Whoa, woman in here. You're not his wife. How old are you, princess? 
16. Oh! Kill him! How old are you really? Nearly 13. Oh! Kill him even more! Kill him harder! You take love where you can find it as you get older. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I'll put the gun in your mouth and pull I the fucking trigger. My new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Ooh. Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind, and he buys me nice things. Get dressed, you're leaving. I don't like that. I did not like that. Kill him. She will only come back. Put the gun in his mouth, pull the trigger. He deserves it. I want him even more dead than he was before. I wanted him dead anyway, because, you know, 16. But nearly 13, ugh. Even more. All right, I think we're gonna talk. I think I got all the evidence I could. Okay. Yep. Killing him. Not killing him. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Totally gonna rough him Please, up, though. Jack. I'm not a violent man. You're getting caught with stash, bro. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. It ain't no transaction, bitch. Uh, I don't know. Do I lie? Do I force him to lie here? I'm doubting it. What is it with you people? How can you live any better? You already have houses, cars, yachts. Greed and avarice are very powerful forces for change, Jack. Combine that with the city's desire for progress, and it's a very heady cocktail. You need to be a very special man to be able to resist that. How about, don't be a fucking weirdo. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. That's bullshit. You're lying, Curtis. That's bullshit. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? With the insurance agreement, bitch. Motherfucker. Candido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lickman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? That's such bullshit. What do I have on that? Um. Nah, the insurance agreement. Uh. Four thousand out of a hundred. Oh my fucking god. Four. Yeah, four hundred thousand dollars. Oh. I can only doubt, Give me I think. what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. I'll kill you. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Bro's lucky I don't turn around and pop a cap in his ass for that fucking... That little stunt he pulled with the... In quotations, 16-year-old. Who's also... Or actually, almost 13. Nah, 
He's lucky I didn't fucking kill him right then and there. Like, fuck that. If there's ever a reason to get the fuck out of the way, dumbass. If there was ever a reason to pop a cap at Slow down, fuck face, damn. Yeah, if there's any any reason to just pull the gun out and pop somebody in the face, it's that. It's that, 100%. She really clowned on him though, which is really funny. But no, that's fucked up. Get the fuck out of the way. Yeah, I got no time for traffic laws. I'm in I'm in danger. Let me alone. I gotta go where to the I don't even remember where I gotta go. Oh, fire and life. Fire and life insurance. Made it. Did run a red. Made it. I'm gonna take this left here. We'll stay on this till it's right next to us. Bro, I hate how they just fucking turn, dude. Like, in real life, you gotta wait till it's clear. Like, fully clear. You don't just fucking center and be like, Oh, I got right away to, on a left turn. On a green light. Come on. No, learn how to drive. You gotta know how to drive. Like, you never just take a left turn on a green without fucking looking. There's cars coming straight, you don't make it unless you can squeeze through and get there. Like, that's fucking crazy. But no, I want I want this guy dead. <laughs> I want that guy dead, hundred percent. I cannot wait. I really hope that's. I really hope it comes to that, cause that's fucking insane, disgusting. I'm just going up to my office party. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator, first door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Yeah, of course I know the way. It's my fucking office. Never get into fights with ugly people. They have nothing to lose. Never get into fights with ugly people? They've got nothing to lose? What a crazy thing to hear. What crazy office banter. First one on the right? Yeah. Uh, let's check over these files. So, get the, let's get the Gooderman report set up. What is it you don't want me to see? Um, that ain't it. No fault, my ass. Um, right there. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? Okay. There's um, got to be more in these files. Gotta be. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Is that the, bill? Is that the house? I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see Yep, you. bring him in. Bring him in. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? <laughs> it's not your style. You were always a little more. Correct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Because we got beef, Why man. My help. I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. It's a kill issue. 
Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology call? Yes, that's what. It's a feeble attempt. At that's what I'm case. sorry means, bud. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields' developments? I ran it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. Let's go. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Yes, sir. All the records, baby. Be on our way. Hell yeah. Beautiful. Oh, look at the pigeons. Oh, is this is the chandelier gonna be down still? Please tell me the chandelier is gonna be down. Oh yeah, look at that. No chandelier. You need some help there, sir? Yeah, I'm wondering how to the get the chandelier. <laughs> Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just wondering how to get up to the chandelier. <laughs> I gotta go up there for something. It's important. Trust. Land registry. Hello. I'd like to see the company details of the suburban redevelopment fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Got it. I thought he was gonna walk behind him. I was unaware that he was gonna walk the other way. Oh yeah. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Albert Brooksfield, Travis. Scopoletti, whoa. Big name. Oh. Suburban re redevelopment. Shareholders? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I mean, yeah. Fuck. We're supposed to click something in particular? You wanted the company information, there it is. Can you please get a move on? I'm looking at it, what do you mean? Courtney Sheldon. Got it. For God's sake. What's he got to do with this? Well, he's I'd a like shareholder. Information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. Oh, you're just a bitch. I believe that is in the Wilshire area. Yep. Right 34 degrees. 4 minutes. 29 seconds north. 118 degrees. 17 minutes. 58 seconds west. 
Well, this thing's kind of cool, actually. The lot number's 1876988. Got it. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. Oh, fuck I'm you! Over here, use this adding machine. Adding there are machine! 90, entries to a book. So divide your lot number by 90,000. Fuck you! 1876988. Oh, fuck off. 1876988. I need 988. Divided by 90,000. 1 million eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight divided by ninety thousand. Twenty. Let's go. 20. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. So, you do this every day? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. V! Hell yeah, baby. Come here. Come here. That's why. Dumbass, not V. That's V. Is it not V? Do you? It's you. Okay. I somehow counted A as one, even though I skipped it. Let's see what the side is worth to them. Um, we're looking for one eight seven one eight seven six nine eight 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 eight. It's over here. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place. The improved value of the property is 3500 They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? That's a good question. Oh, God. Know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. Yeah, you fucking suck. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. That fucking sucks. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna hold in you, asshole. Oh, is that right? I wish I could fucking put holes in you, bitch. But I suck. Almost out. He can quit. That's it. Out of ammo. Yes, sir. Give me that Tommy gun, boy. Yes, sir. Give me that shade. You ever told me? A little shootout action, love that. Need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down. It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the suburban redevelopment fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney. Jack, you know I it, Courtney. Come on. You know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your Bullshit. Name is there, with some pretty interesting company. Name's on the, the fucking ledger, bro. Attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. 
Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. I'm not the fall guy. You're the fall guy. You're the terrible movie with, uh, Ryan Gosling? No, Ryan Reynolds. Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was oh, boy. Calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. Sure you will, Leland. You Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very wealthy man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? You're damn right I am. Come around to my place at nine. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. I'm good. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Ooh, saucy. That's that invitation I'm thinking of. Oh, are we going to call Phelps? Please tell me you're calling Phelps. I'd love it. Meet Leland at the mansion. Got it. I'm taking this car. I don't care whose it is, I'm taking it. Gotta look cool, man. Oh, can't really look cool when I just drives past you, goddammit. Driving like a jackass, though. Hit this street. How about stay, don't walk in the road? There's no crosswalk at this time, bitch. Damn. Let me through. Let me through. Get there in one piece, hopefully. Your car. Why are you doing this? Woo! What a little cut. Oh, he's like up in the hills, ain't he? Fucking driving. Take your sweet fucking time. I'm gonna drive on the sidewalk. Fuck out of my way. Just left. Beautiful. Good turn. Great turn. Stay in this road till it's Jason with us. There it is. 
Right up here to the left. I would miss the fucking road, dude. I would miss the road. God, please give me an opportunity to glack fucking Leland Barrow. Oh, I got the squad together. I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Yes, sir. There's a silent. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Damn, dude, that's for the shit out of me. That scared the shit out of me. Up that guy's brain bucket. Up there's two, damn. Well, so much for keeping the noise at a minimum. Oh, it's my guy. Oh, shoot my guy. It's also one of my guys. What am I doing? Dude, the shotgun's loud as fuck, dude. The shotgun's fucking loud, bro. Damn. I kind of want that, though. So. Oh, is that right? How long do you think you can hold out somebody? The fuck, idiot. Fuck. Clever, Come on. Peek me. Got his ass. That's what I thought, pussy. Oh, yeah, it's not X. It's not A to get in the cover. Oh, he's dead. I want the fucking gun. Where's the, uh... Where's that gat, Tony? I want that gat, Tony. Where'd it go? And nobody's got one? You're, Tell you're telling me nobody's got a fucking Thompson. That guy's got one. Excuse me? Hold the perimeter. Personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Wait, is that a bar? Hey, oink. Let's get our ass in there. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? All right. Well. It's not where I need to go. Here you go, this way. There he is. Just, this is the exact reason why you don't fucking just stand there while you're reloading. Always hide. Can I keep going this way? I can. Hello? What the fuck is she doing here? You're a very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I'm the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! <sighs> Damn! <laughs> Damn! <sighs> I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. Well, now she doesn't have the brains. Damn. She got no brains either. This fucking. Where are you, damn it? 
Bro just straight handed her fucking CTE and like third degree CTE. Oh, fuck. Yeah, bro just handed her third degree CTE. Oh, dick shot. Worth. I just, yeah, I just straight up handed her fucking third degree CTE in like two seconds. Good try, bud. Incredible try. You gave effort. You gave effort. He should at least be proud of you for that. Be careful with these doorways open and shit. Okay. It's on the wall. Undercover. Bah! No? Okay, so it's not here. Am I supposed to go here? No shot, right? Oh. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Deserved. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. Fuck you. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Ooh. Fun. Get out of the way, bitch. Oh, suburban redevelopment. Sick. Got one of these. Watch it. I don't think we're anywhere close to finishing these, though. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel Come on, money. Courtney, you know this. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. I don't like this guy. Those houses His are accent just dog. feels fucking They're gonna be burned disgusting. For the insurance. Scandalous allegation, Courtney. He's like Sweet foreign, but also like southern at the same time. It's weird. Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen. Him. You're damn right. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you oh, think is that right? behind this subterfuge? Jack says. It's a property developer named Monroe. It's him. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. Dude. He's the fucking mastermind, Courtney. Come on. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust. Come on, Courtney. You fucking idiot. Still, Courtney. You're an idiot. Them go. You just kill Courtney? Drift away. Dude, what a scumbag. What a scumbag. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, it Jack. corrupts, absolute. Ah, call me an ambulance already. I'll call you a dirt nap, bitch. What the fuck are you doing here? Is everything in his office? Ooh, a little, little desk over here. Nothing. Oh, his safe's open. Thank you for opening that, buddy. Appreciate you for that. Ooh. That's a hell of a payroll. You're damn right it is. Earl. Hey, we know him. Roy Earl. Is this one? Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Good lord.
Implicated on the supply and distribution of narcotics in the greater LA County area. Oh, Roy oh, Earl. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. You're damn right it is. And it's all gonna be used in fucking court, dude. Check on the money. Check his desk now. Ooh. Morelli, Stephens. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Council. Wow. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy. Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yes, sir. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <clears throat> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? <laughs> Fontaine. Oh no. Former patient. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've Put a bullet in your control. skull right now, bitch. Monroe's negotiating again. Put a bullet right in you your skull. My final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he did whatever Fontaine asked. He, he, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name. He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. I don't want, I don't want him to have a doctor. I want him to bleed out. Fuck this guy. Put another one in his other leg. For good measure. Give me a goddamn doctor. Dude, I'd have put one in his other leg and then cut the phone line. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Hell yeah, dude, he's a better than me. better man than me. Better man than me. Ooh, distinguished. Let's go. Massive. Yeah, he's a better man than me. I would have straight left him for dead. I would have fucking bold kneecaps, cut the phone line, throw it out the window, done. Over. Better man than me, Jack Kelsa. Gotta respect it. But yeah. Sick. Uh, it's all starting to fall apart for them. That's what, that's what we love to see. I don't know. I have no sympathy for anybody involved. Considering, uh, what was his name? Benson, Benson, whatever the fuck, was fucking a 12-year-old? Uh-uh, fuck that guy. Dirt nap, right now, need it. So yeah, uh, another case closed. We got distinguished this time, four stars, we love that. Uh, it's not a five, but we'll take it. But yeah, uh, with that being said, I'm going to do it for this episode. So uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Later.